it does start off very gently. Do you remember the two things that we're comparing here are expanded form, which in fact you can see a whole bunch of numbers here that are written in expanded form, and index form, which is kind of like our abbreviation. For when you don't want to say uh, 5 times 5 times 5, you want to say something a bit more brief, right? So, remember that this is shorthand, it's an abbreviation for, who's written it down? Who's confident with their answer? Yeah, Darcy. Um, 7 times 7 times 7. Very good. 7 times 7 times 7. Uh, you don't have to write this bit down, but you may remember back when you learned about, when you first learned what multiplication was, way back when, right? You may have learned that multiplication is about adding things over and over again. Do you remember that? Right? It's kind of like, this is what you don't have to write. If you write 5 plus 5 plus 5, I mean, that's fine. But, you know, that's okay because it's three times. What if I had to write it like a few more times and a few more times and a few more times? It rapidly gets a bit boring, right? Why not just say, at least in this case, 5 times, how many fives do I have? Eight. Looks like Eight. I have nine. 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 I think it's nine, right? So I would say that is five times nine. Right? So multiplication is kind of like addition, but like a whole bunch of them together. Well, that's exactly what's happening with this index, right? Do you notice that? That index up there, the power, that was the other word we learned for it, is kind of like multiplication all over again. Just like multiplication is addition all over again. Excellent. So there's the first one. How can we write the second one? In Expanded form. Any take it. Someone else take it. Yeah. Um, two times two. Yep. Times twelve times twelve. Very good. Fantastic. So you can see we're just stringing them along. It's no big deal. And you can see also why it's called expanded form. They've gotten bigger. It takes more time to write. Okay. Last one. Someone who hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, Aiden. Um, bracket negative one bracket times bracket negative one times. <laughs> yep. And yep. So on, so on. Good. And we do it. Five times. Five times, very good. And so you can see, did I do it the right number of times? Yeah. You can see why we introduced index form. Because it's a little bit tiresome to go over and over and over again. So therefore, let's transition into this next bit. What do we do to work out what the index should be? Yeah, question. Um, see how many fives there are. Very good. So I count. One, two, three, which means I should write three. five and three. with a three up the top. And that's the index or power, OK? Very good. Um, someone who hasn't offered an answer yet. The next one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, two to the power of four. Two to the power of four. Perfect. Okay. This one here. Yeah, Maria. Um, minus three to the power of two. Very good. Minus three to the power of two. Now the last one's a bit of a curveball, and that's why I made it the last one. Does anyone want to offer a suggestion? Someone who hasn't said anything yet. Kimmy, do you want to have a go? A million to the power of one. Okay, so there's a few different ways to write this one, and it's a bit sneaky. So I'm actually going to give you a few different ones, right? Let's go with this one first. So I'll go one million, that's six zeros, isn't it? And to the power of one. That is in index form, isn't it? Because it's got an index, looks okay to me. That's a fine answer. Does someone want to suggest another one, Eric? Um, ten to the power of six. Okay. Now, you've gone straight right to the... Um, Went to the smallest one. Do you notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, right? Which if you remember back to that lesson we did on strategies for multiplication, if you want to multiply something by 10, you just add a zero on the end. Do you remember that, right? So here I've added six zeros on the end. So it's like I'm multiplying by 10, one, two, three, four, five, six times, okay? Now, um, if you did your homework, there was a table where you were filling out um, uh, hundreds, thousands, uh, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and so on, and you had them all there. And this is the way you can write all of them in index form. Okay, so if you didn't catch that one, that's all right, but now you can recognize it. Uh, by the way, just before we leave it, this is in fact not the only pair of ways I can write a million in index form. I'm going to let you like think about it for a minute, because a few of you I think have cottoned on, but I would love if you have that thought circulating around your head, and I'll tell you at the end of the lesson, a few of the other ways to do it, because there are a few others.